Every time we turn our heads the other way, when we see the law flouted, when we tolerate what we know to be wrong, when we close our eyes and ears to the corrupt because we are too busy or too frightened, when we fail to speak up and strike out, we strike a blow against freedom and this decency and injustice. All over the world, women are getting abused and discriminated. There are people who do not do anything and others who try to change this terrible injustice. An example of people who don't care is the police in Russia. When a husband threatened to kill his wife, the police officer said, look, if you do it, do it quietly. Then there are activists like Marina Pesklakova. She started counseling the abused woman and helped to divorce to the woman to divorce her husband. Marina Pesklakova started a hotline in Russia. Her hotline saved hundreds of women from getting killed and abused by their husbands. Marina Pisklakova is changing that by not only starting a hotline, but attempting the government to make the fifth article of the UDHR a law. This article is very important in Russia because only domestic violence that results in either injuries causing the person to be out of work for at least two years or in murder can be considered a crime. This means if a woman gets abused, but the injuries do not prevent her from going to work, the abuser does not get punished. Most women in Russia are abused by their husbands, but don't leave them for many reasons. It is difficult for women to leave an abusive husband due to lack of financial independence, housing problems, fear of losing children, and lack of protection by state institutions. The Russian government is not doing anything to stop domestic violence. Officials routinely do not investigate or even respond to domestic violence allegations and shelter space is limited for victims. They do not have enough shelters for all the victims to recover, resulting in victims having nowhere to go. Domestic violence is a big problem all over the world. Marina Pisklikova says, now everybody is talking about domestic violence, and many people are doing something about it. The question is, are you?